Hello guys, this is your friend from SQL Tube channel. Today I am going to present step by step demonstration to accomplish some of the basic tasks in SQL Server. We will start with SQL Server SSMS which is SQL Server Management Studio. You can download directly from Microsoft website for latest version. Today we are going to cover the some of the basic topics create database, create table, insert records, security and summary. Let's start with SQL Server Management Studio. This is the SQL Server Management Studio. You can directly download from Microsoft website for latest version. In prior version, it used to come with SQL software installation package, but now from SQL 2017 and onwards, it is separate download from Microsoft website. Okay, so once you open the SQL Server Management Studio, click connect, click database engine, and you can choose your SQL Server name. In authentication, there are two types of authentication which is mostly used Windows authentication and SQL Server authentication. Windows authentication is the authentication you have to use your domain account and password. SQL Server authentication is you create SQL user specifically to connect to the database with password. For this demo, I am going to show you SQL Server authentication. I enter my username and password, click connect. As you can see, it connects to the SQL Server. Right click on it, click properties. Here you can see the version of the SQL Server. SQL Server Enterprise Edition 64 bit. Version is 15.0. Point 2000 which is SQL Server 2019 here there are other settings like memory processor security connections but for this basic video uh, I am just clicking OK in my details next videos I am going to explain each and every options and how to configure click OK there are different tabs if you look at it databases security, server objects, replication, polybase, always on high availability, management, integration service catalogs and SQL Server agent. For this video, I am just covering create database, create table, insert records and how to connect to the database that we uh, create. So our next topic is create database. So right click. And in this video, I am not going to use any T-SQL, I am just going to use SQL Server Management Studio and I am going to show you how to do it. In my advanced video, I am going to use T-SQL to see, to show you that how you can create with T-SQL programming language also. But for this video, for beginners, even if you don't know the SQL, how to write the SQL, you can still create the database, tables, security and other options so in order to create the database right click on the database click database new database give the database name for our demo i am going to give the database name dba as you can see there are database files When you see file type rows data, that means it's a MDF file, logged file type is our LDF files. You can create multiple NDF files also, but for basic, it requires to have at least one MDF and one LDF. So I am just keeping all default. Click option. Here recovery mode full, bulk logged, simple. I am going to keep simple. What does it mean? Simple means your database K 
can you can take only full backup and differential backup but you cannot take log backup full mode meaning you can take transaction log backup full backup and differential backup compatibility level mode as you can see you can go back all the way SQL Server 2008 click OK and your new database got created as you can see underneath of tables there is nothing so now our next task is to create table so right click on tables new table let's create employee table with employee ID last name first name address city so my first column will be employee id data type will be integer because it will be numeric numbers you want to allow nulls or no so allow nulls uncheck next column will be last name which will be the name so i am giving varchar 100 first name watch your country address watch your 255 city watch your 100 as you can see we created four co five columns now when you save it it will ask you to give the table name so for this demo we are giving to going to give table name employees click ok you can close now refresh tables as you can see we successfully created employee table now we are going to insert some records right now this table is empty we just created table in order to insert the records without writing t sql you just right click says this uh, edit top 200 rows and you just insert so employee id 1 last name smith john address chicago and city chicago number 2 click close and it will save the records now how do you know that these two records got selected so right click on it say select as you can see it successfully entered two rows now we are going to create the user so in order to create the user you right click on logins new logins and we are going to create sql server authentication so let's say dba user give some password default database will be our dba go to the user mapping click dba and here are the rows you can choose for this demo i am just giving db owner click ok now go to connect sql server authentication user 
will be we just created dba user password click connect as you can see you successfully created the user and connect to the database if you go to the tables you can right click select and here it is so as you can see we covered SQL Server Management Studio how to create database how to create table insert records and security in my next video I am going to cover insert update delete TC call select TC call with where conditions and we are going to use some example for and or and like operations please feel free to comment about this video thank you for watching see you in next video soon bye bye